The joyful sound of a new baby's cry can be heard from the nursery at Ohio Health's Riverside Methodist Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. Each year, Riverside Methodist Hospital delivers more than 6,200 babies. About 500 of these babies are considered at risk and are known as late preterm infants or infants born between 34 and 37 weeks. This population of babies are seven times more likely to have problems related to their body system functions than full-term babies. At 35 weeks gestation, the brain is two-thirds the size of a full-term baby's brain. This leads to immature body functions, such as the respiratory system, the breathing stimulation and ability to make that transition from life in the womb. Since this population of babies requires extra care, it was important for guidelines to be put in place to advise medical professionals and caretakers on how to handle these little ones. Riverside Methodist Hospital and Nationwide Children's Hospital NICU at Riverside participated in the Association of Women's Health Obstetric and Neonatal Nurses, or A1, study. Some of the key elements in late preterm infant care include keeping mothers and babies together if these babies are stable. Kangaroo care or skin-to-skin -skin care promotes the most effective way of regulating baby's temperature, his glucose, his sleep patterns, initiating feedings, and promoting brain development. Both breastfeeding and bottle feeding babies can benefit from kangaroo care. With the late preterm infant guidelines in place, new parents like Jonathan and Stacy Bell feel more at ease after welcoming their baby a little earlier than expected at 36 weeks. They actually provided us with a lot of good information as far as caring for him um, at home and sometimes their systems are immature so we really need to make sure, you know, as far as feeding them, respiratory, things like that, um, that their growth is appropriate. Jonathan and Stacy feel they are well equipped in caring for Pearson, thanks to the nurses and support staff at Riverside Methodist Hospital. They plan to keep an eye out for signs of jaundice, which is common with late preterm infants, and to have regular checkups with their pediatrician. To make sure his skin coloration is good, uh, that he's not getting a yellow tint to his skin, that he, which would cause jaundice. These new national guidelines help ensure the growth and development of late preterm infants.